Welcome to Church of the Chair, where sometimes a great book is just a flash in the pan. I'm your host, E, and today, my memory can catch these hands. This is a discussion video. You know how we do these discussion videos by now. I ask you guys a question, and you fill up the comments with your answers. Today, I'm talking about uh, five books. I didn't mean to pick five, like a Top 5 Friday or something. It just happened to be five books that I have on my shelf that I absolutely loved at the time that I read them but then I completely forgot everything about them. Uh, the first one I'm going to be talking about, and I want to know down there in the comments uh, some books that you guys have read that you remember absolutely loving, but you can't remember anything about them. At the very least, maybe you can remember one scene uh, that affected you, and that's why you keep the book around or why you plan to reread it or whatever. But the topic of discussion today are books that you loved that you can't remember a damn thing about. First one is My Only Wife by Jack Jemps. Uh, despite the amazing cover that looks like you can put your finger in the keyhole, you can't. It's just paper. Um, there's no depth to it. Uh, really cool cover, though. Um, despite that, I can't remember anything about this. I couldn't tell you the first thing about this book, about the premise uh, and any of the characters, absolutely nothing. I know I read it because I wrote a review for it. Um, I also read uh, False Bingo, which was a short story collection of this author's. Uh, I read these two back to back. I know that again because I put that in my review. But I don't remember anything about False Bingo either. That was a collection of short stories, and I gave it three stars. But this one I gave five stars. I did not read my review because I wanted to go into this uh, topic blind. And the more I'm trying to rack my brain, the more I can't remember anything. Maybe it's about a missing wife. I, complete, complete blank. I, I have no idea. Next one up is from an author. I literally went out and bought all this dude's books because of this one book and the second one that I read I didn't care for at all and it ended up not finishing uh, but yeah that's less than zero by Brett Easton Ellis whether or not you like him or not um, I don't care too much for him personally uh, but he's he's not someone that you know I stay away from because of his views I do like his writing and I I love this one but the only thing I can remember about it I gave it five stars, and the only thing that I can remember is that the ending disgusted me. That's the only thing I can remember. I have no idea what it's, what it's about. I have no idea what else I liked about it, um, why I liked it when the ending upset me so much. I, I don't know. I didn't read the review, but this is another one. Um, now, the other book that I tried that I ended up quitting was uh, American Psycho. I absolutely love the movie. Um, it is an amazing film with Christian Bale and uh, and what a Jared Leto and some other well-known uh, actors. But I love the movie. One of my favorite scenes of all time is uh, him running around butt naked with a chainsaw. Amazing scene. Loved it. Couldn't tell you what this is about. <clears throat> the next one we have is one that might shock some of you. Now, my review for this one, I did read because it was only a sentence long. Uh, I gave it five stars, and it's, it said, and I quote, this book had me ass up, tits down, screaming, oh yeah. The Power of the Dog by Don Winslow. It's about the cartel. Okay, I remember falling hard for one of the characters in this book, a dude that did not show up in the sequel whatsoever. And I think that's one of the reasons why I just kind of wrote this off. I believe in the last book, I can't even remember the other book's names. I do have them down here on the shelf, but I'm not going to turn around and look at them because that's the point of this topic. What can you remember? Um, I believe one of them's called The Border and one of them's called Car The Cartel. Maybe something. I read the second one in the series and I liked it all right, but it wasn't anywhere near as good as this one. And this one I can't remember anything about. So, what, was I in a, a weird state of mind when I read it? I don't know. Obviously, I was because that review is not like any of my other reviews. Uh, and it tickles me that there was a comment on the review that said, uh, 
the only reason I'm buying this book is because of this review. It's the best review I ever read. Once again, all the review said was this book had me ass up, tits down, screaming, oh yeah. Other than that, I can't remember anything about this. Um, I know Don Winslow is a, is a great author. He's a lot of fun. His uh, Twitter is a little annoying, even though I'm politically on the same side of the fence as him. I can't stand people who only talk about one thing, and Winslow is one of those people. But anyways, um, yeah, Power of the Dog. What's it about? I don't, I don't have a clue. Uh, next up is one, another one where I went out and bought every single one of this guy's books. I got... Well, not not every single one, but I I bought I bought several, and I bought them new too, which which is rare for me. Um, I only do that with books that I absolutely love, authors that I just completely fall in love with, and that is uh, Fuminori Nakamura, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, that's the thief. I read this. I do recall the very first line of my review is I read this in one sitting. And that's probably why I can't remember it, even though there are many books like The Crying of Lot 49 by Thomas Pynchon that I read in one sitting. Uh, many of Stephen King's books, the first time I read it, read it in one sitting. I can remember everything. But this one, eh, not so much. Uh, also, I will add that most of these books on this list were all read about the same time. So I don't know what I had going on. It was years before my mother passed away, and that's probably the most significant life change I've been through uh, since I started this channel and started reviewing and everything. But yeah, this one, I dub. It is what it is. Uh, I, I, it's obviously about a thief. What is he stealing? I don't know. But I gave it five stars because I was in a mood, obviously. That's going away. The next one is a book that... Th this one's going to sound funny, and maybe maybe I'm admitting something here. I don't know, but uh, I was reading my review, and there was a comment uh, in the review that said, Oh my God, I can't believe you like this. This book is so forgettable. And I remember coming as like, No, this is one of my favorite books of the year, is, is, what, I, is what I responded with. I don't... They were right. It's The Glorious Heresies by Lisa McEnery. Um, I don't know what happens in this book. I don't know what it's about. Um, I got this as an advanced review copy when uh, Crown Publishing was doing blogging for books. They would li literally send you a first edition hardcover instead of a, instead of a paperback uh, arc or a digital arc. And uh, they closed that up. I think they've gone out of business or they have merged with someone. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this one, I remember it has something, maybe Irish? Irish characters? Don't know. And I don't know if my mind is just going there because of uh, Lisa's last name. I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I remember enjoying the characters. I remember it was a good character piece. But as far as scenes, I don't remember a single thing. Uh, hopefully this video is not too boring, and uh, it, I'm trying to make it as entertaining as possible. Uh, I thought it was a good idea when I sat down to do it, and I still I still do. But uh, I just realized that every single one of these is like, what happened? I don't know. Moving along. Um, but I literally don't remember a thing about these, and I just wanted to be honest. I thought it was an interesting topic, and I wanted to see if I could gain some solidarity or maybe get some validation for how weird I am that I love these books so much and I can't remember a thing about them. So definitely, down there in the comments, let me know if there's books that you loved, that you gave five stars and you fanboy girl them all over the place, but... Now you can't remember anything about them. Maybe one scene is the only uh, caveat. That's probably not the right, right word. But the only exception would be like you can only remember one scene in the book. Uh, but yeah, let me know down there. That's all the time I have for you today. Uh, this was this was fun for me, if for no other reason than I can pick on myself and be like, why why did you why did you go so hard for this book, only to forget everything about it? <laughs> Anyways, until next time, I'll hell the chair. Why does my shirt do that? I don't get it. It's, what is this, like, particle effects? I don't know, but it's so mesmerizing. Ooh.